Oh, yeah. I just remember, because I remember I came over, and it was like me and Adam and a bunch of your family. Yeah. That's yeah, it wasn't that many people at his birthday. I mean, it cool. was. He was just, and then he showed up, and he was just like, hey, I got a new toy, and then it's like, and he could tell it was like nap time for him. That's why it seems farther ago to me, I think, because I couldn't make his one-year birthday because I was out of town. Yeah. But he's got a ways to go still. So, all right, did we, did I read this stuff over on the assault yet? A no. little bit, but, I mean, you went over some stuff, I don't remember exactly what you went over. Okay, so, um, we're gonna jump in on into the invasion, okay? The corporate officers in charge of overseeing trade with Akamar and Genoa for GM and Johnson Industries were horrified in 3057 by the destabilization of the area of space that came to be known as the Chaos March. They soon afterward convened a meeting of leaders from a half a dozen smaller allied companies to discuss the problem. This alliance ultimately adopted the solution proposed by GM Security Director Anton Corrigan, who I shall be playing the part of. Operation Stiletto, a military strike to be launched whenever the situation on both planets became a threat to continued trade. Heaven forbid the money stops flowing. The status quo crumbled on Akamar first in August of 3060. Rebel strongman Calvin Noru broke the fragile balance of power by uniting several warring factions and launching coordinated assaults to take control of the rest of the planet. While finalizing preparations for the task force, Corrigan discovered that the opposition forces on Genoa were far larger than expected. To avoid tipping his hand, he put off the start of the entire operation until he could hire enough units to complete the mission on both planets. Operation Stiletto swung in full gear in February of 3061 with simula simultaneous landings on both worlds. The player unit is landing on Akamar. Though the events in this track place the players primarily in a support role, numerous chances exist for a front for frontline combat. Each scenario, blah blah blah. At the game, master's discretion of following rules may apply. And I think, okay, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, so what we're gonna do? These are uh, the scenarios are called tracks. Each track, that, I mean. It's game tracks, and then you go through different scenarios throughout the track. So we're do doing the invasion. You guys are dropping in. Conventional and military wisdom states that no plan survives contact with the enemy. Corrigan, codenamed White Buffalo, immediately dropped Buffalo and Cutlass companies into the landing zone to save Shrike and Flare. Oh, I, I read ahead. Sorry. Um... Shrike and Flare Lance's order to secure the landing zone for the Akamar Task Force dropped in what should have been a deserted clearing in the Osa's Forest, which is this, but turned out to be the middle of an ambush. Later, discovered that the ambush had been set for an opposing armored column advancing upon a nearby highway was little comfort for the eight task force mech warriors. Corrigan, Coney, White, Buffalo immediately dropped Buffalo and Cutlass companies into the landing zone to save Shrike and Flare. But both lances have been wiped out before the relief landed. Both sides sustained heavy damage in the ensuing battle. We saw two Leopard-class dropships providing close air support with an assault battle mech company on each flank and the invasion force landing nearby, the ambushing unit ultimately re withdrew to the Otal foothills, leaving White Buffalo with his first victory, but costly. Okay, so here are your two drop ships right here. You guys, are, you got your two lances. The attacker. The attacker consists of the player units. Assign the call signs Cutlass, players previously participating and the GM publicity tour have been temporarily assigned new mechs, which you guys did not do. Um, the mechs, those players, okay. So one of you guys is Cutlass, and one of you guys is, um, 
Oh no, you guys are. I'm Buffalo because I'm Corrigan. So that's what you guys are codenamed. The defender consists of elements of the Legion of Truth, second and third battalions. The defender should field 150% strength of both the attacking companies, though no more than twice their number of elements at one experience level lower than the player unit, which I have done. The defending force should contain two lances of medium battle mechs, circa 3050, which I have done. The defending force may set up anywhere on the board north of Hexro 12. Some elements may have pre-existing damage, which they do not. The defender may deploy some elements hidden. So I will do that. Um, now, it does say that you have two leopard class dropships that can... Uh, uh, Madman and Nugent, which are those two right there. And they swoop in and they do like some attacks. But I don't know how to do all that crap, so y'all guys don't get that. <laughs> and that, my friends, is... Um, what happens? Okay, well, now with, when you withdraw, force withdrawal rules. The effects of both sides, whenever you reach half damage, you must withdraw from the board. The attacker must withdraw via the south edge of the map at the beginning of any turn, which is that way. No. Where? Shit. Where, whichever way. <laughs> whichever way. The attacker must withdraw. Crippling damage. The entire attacking force must begin withdrawing. So basically, once your once your infantry reach half their strength level, they they withdraw, and then you you don't have to move them off the board. You just automatically pull them off. Once your mechs start taking damage to their central hulls, that is the outer hull and the center hull. Once you start taking damage in here, you're going to have to start withdrawing them off that side of the board. I will have to withdraw off this side. Now, just so we know, so you know what you're getting into, uh, the first mech... Oh, you are not familiar with the first mech because it was too weak. So the first mech you're going to be dealing with is this guy. This is a uh, Hunchback. He has 851 points. The second guy, which is, being, which is a Quick Draw. This is a Quick Draw. Very... Uh, very similar to the uh, no um, he's similar to the commando but he's oh. twice as strong and then the last mech is a panther which the panther is about as strong as your herbies you know he has 10 damage on his strong and he's got short range missiles which do, you know, two damage each. So, now we're on cold planets. Akamar is a frosted planet. So, there's that. I am going to deploy my guys. I am not going to be hidden, but I will be deploying this as uh, a defensive a line. They're motorcycles only because I don't have any more. I gave all you guys all the infantry. Okay, so they're just infantry. Okay. So they're just infantry. And maybe a rocket launcher in this side. In the woods. I'm hitting a lot of it. some forest. So they have to be behind 12, too. Hmm? You have to be behind 12. It says 12. That's 14. Oh, it's okay. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, man. Yeah. Okay. Let's roll over an engine. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Six. Oh, only one of us has to roll. Only one of us has to roll. Well, I roll seven. seven so. Okay, so I go first. You go first. Okay, my battle tank goes four. It's gonna go one, two, three, four. The hunchback walks four. One, two, what is that? Uh, three, 
four. He has walked. Can you read? Can you get the, the chart out that says how many pips it is while I do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, oh, my quick draw can jump. Five. Is that a four run? One, two, three, four, five. And he's going to land here. He has jumped. Yeah, I move four. What is it? Um, Is a one, and if it's a run, it's a black one. He did not run. I jumped five. What is that? Jump. Um, red two. It's plus three. Uh, it's red. Yeah, it's a red die. So it's a plus three on on stuff. And then you said you said five. It's a plus two. So it's a red two, and then the panther can jump four. One, two, three, four. Is that a one? Uh, four is a plus one, yeah. Okay. All right. And then these, this guy walked, um, four, so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, which is, if it's walk or run, or challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. That is my turn. I'm not going to move any of the other guys. Now it's usually I go, you go, I go, you go, I go, you go, but it's much faster if I do all of my stuff and then you guys do all of your stuff and it doesn't really, and, and we're kind of used to that style, so we're just going to adopt that movement style, Gotcha. which is different from what is typical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing more more to hind, less, uh... yeah. Alright, uh, Matt, would you like to go first? Sure. One, two, three, done. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, done. Uh, let's see the tank. Did I mention like your your little dudes are in your tank and you can deploy them when you wish? Oh, in that case. Then I'll leave them now. Okay. Um so they can cruise 8 or flanking speed 12. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to get too far ahead. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you're moving through wood, so that's 4, 5. 4, 5. 6. Or is that 6, 7? That's 6. Because only the front seven. Counts. Mm -hmm. Got it. After, did we say we could go through friendly? You can move through friendly units. You can't stop on a friendly unit. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, can I move my tank? Or upper graph? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right. Because uh, you are going to go around the long way. So let me just make sure. Okay, so that's 12. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's good. And I think all my guys, I'm not going to deploy the guys. Keep right, next turn. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can shoot with my guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can shoot on that position. Ooh. <clears throat> so um, he moved eight. So eight. Is that flanking speed? Yeah. Uh, no, that was the, the slow one. Um, so it's a white die. So eight. This is a three. So that would be just plus two. So two, and then it's a uh, long distance. So that's plus four. So ten. Yeah, it's eleven. Okay, so four, eight, ten, eleven. So I need eleven up to hit. Basically. 
No. All right. Totally missed. That's it. So I'm actually in firing range two as well. That is, but I went twelve. Is that four on black dice? Yeah, before black. Yeah. Which is a plus two modifier. Plus two modifier to your hit because you're basically you're running. Okay, because I am my range is ten, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I am within range, but it is long range, and it's plus two modifiers on me. You didn't move, so is it? It's just six up. Well, no, you get oh with the long range. Four. With long range. Base yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. Plus base, your plus I forgot the long range modifier. Run so you'd be ten is up. two. Ten up. ten up. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Because that guy's not in any cover. Sure. No. No, you totally missed. Yeah, it's worth a try. All right. All right. Initiative. Right, do you want to roll? This? Nah, you take it. Uh, that's a six. We see how I roll. We got it higher. Okay, so you go first. So, one, two, three, believe it or not, that is running, so I believe that's a black one. Yeah, we're going to go one, two, three, which is a white one, and that's it. Six, range, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, can't make it. Eight. One, two, three, four. That can make it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't make it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't make it. Um. Those dice definitely can't make it. The one guy that can shoot. Oh, let me remove all these. The one guy that can't make it. I want to get in the cover. I don't want to sit there. You know? Okay, I guess I'm going to move here. That's a white one. This guy is not in cover. I'm going to move one, two, into cover. That's a little two one maybe. still. That's still a white one, right? Uh, it's actually... Eight, one or zero, one or two is zero. Zero, one or two is zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So they're both zero, right? Yeah. Okay. My tank moves for one, two, three, four. My commando. He's not a commando. He's a quick draw. He's not a commando. He can jump five. One, two, three, four. Jump here. What is five? That's a two? Five is a uh, two. Yep. The Panther jumps four, but he can run six. Ah, that's not very good. One, two, three, four. That's rough terrain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess it doesn't. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh no, he's gonna land here. You know what? I'm gonna sit here. That guy, I don't think he, I don't think he jumps. 
He does not jump. He moves. He runs. One, two, three. Damn. What? Nothing. Okay, he he walked three, which is two. And this guy is a red two. All right, that's movement. Oh wait, this guy moved four, so that's a two. There we go. All right. All right. Shooting phase. So shoot. All right. Shoot. Um. Take. All right. So. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's medium range. So that's only plus two. So. One, two, three, and then zero, and then four. So seven up. Seven up. Nope. Completely miss. All right, then. Um, let's miss. Taking two shots. All right. Um, so it's long range. Uh, so plus four, um, eight, nine, ten, and then cover eleven. So eleven up. Um, I've got three things. So three shots at eleven. Are, and are they in the arc? They might not be. This what? is my front arc. Where's this? This this is my front. That dude is. That's the guy's in no, your front. No, this arc. is my front right here. I know, but that's in your front that arm. That is in my front arm? Okay, cool, cool. Yes. All right, so I'll take three different shots. The first one's the six, SRM six. No, SRM fours. No, and then my medium laser. Ten. Then I need 11. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Who's shooting? This guy. There you go. So two, zero, three, four, five, six. No, I need... I'm, and yeah, yeah, 11 because of the cover. Yeah, it was 11. So you know, they all miss. They all miss. They all miss. <clears throat> well, that stinks. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, everyone else is too far. Mm. He's not in cover. He's not in cover. Okay. So I'll make a shot with him because I realized my Ultra AC has a long range of 18. So, oops, I guess I could have shot last turn. Uh, but with long range, that's base four plus four. What's plus, the damage on that? Uh, just four. No. Oh no, damage ten. Damage is ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's your AC ten. Yeah, but so base of four, range of four, that's eight. With the running, that's nine ten. So ten ups. Okay. No. Surprise, mm -hmm. surprise. I try. What about your tank? Unfortunately, out of range. All right. Roll for initiative! I'll have a crack at it. Oh no, I dropped a tank on it. I did alright. Ten. That's a but ten. not good at... Um, you know, oh, yeah, you got a ten. Four. Ugh, four. Four. Four again. There we go, eight. Eight. Okay, so I go first. Let me remove all my movement points here. Um, I'll do the same. I think... That, oh, you know what? I didn't even check the range on these guys. What's the range on these dudes? Okay, so this guy has a range of nine. Oh, wow. Oh, that's damage. Okay, the other guy has a range of nine. And that guy has a range of 18 on his PPC. And nine on everything else. Okay, so 18 is pretty far. Yeah, it is. It's over half the map, uh, I think. So none of these guys are going to move. My tank has a range of 9 and 3. He's going to move. He's got 4. I'm going to just move him up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now, look, there's, there's, this is high, so this guy cannot shoot at this guy through this. Okay. Okay. Well, um, who can? Oh, none of your guys can shoot at this guy through this berm. This is a berm. Sure. Right here. But... This is level 1. This is level 2 up here. You shot at these guys, but they were, they're up on the hill. But this guy is behind the hill. Does who that shot, make sense? Who shot at him? But like the first round. Yeah, but they, that dude was over here. At right. The time you right. Moved him. 
But what I was going to say was I thought if there was only one level in the way, I thought that was partial cover. For mechs. Oh, for that's mechs. right. You're right. Not okay. for vehicles and infantry. Part. Okay. So. I remember now. Okay, so he moved what? All, he moved all his whole way. So that was a... That's a three? What is what is a cruising four is a two, right? Sounds about right. I have it over here. If I can find it again. Yes. Oh, no. You move four? Yeah. Uh, is is a run or a... Oh, well, it doesn't right matter. Here. Yeah, it's plus one. Plus one. All right. This commando is jump five. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. He's going to go this way, and he's going to face this way. A panther can jump four. One, two, three, four. I don't want to get in the way. One, two, three, four. He's going to jump over here. This is a red two. This is a red one. This guy, Hunchback, he can run six. One, two, three. Four, five. Four, five. He can only go five. What is five? Oh, it's two. What's two? Zero. Two is zero. The movement? Oh, okay. So three should be on um, He ran... Okay, all right. That's my movement. You guys can go. Two? Oh yeah, that's a zero. Are we representing there with six? Six, yeah. yeah. And... <laughs> He's still where he was, huh? Hmm. I think I'll stay where he is. For now. Ah, forget. I'll move up to. Uh, but that's a okay. It's a zero, so six. We'll do that. All right. So then, one, two, three. So then I'll do one. White one. White one. Now would that be six seven because he's moving from light cover to uh, light yeah. cover? Yeah, but he can move. He can move. Uh, it's a run then, so it turns into a run. So it's, it's not seven. how many times you turn; it's only how many hexes you moved. Oh, okay. So it's one, one, two, three, four. Four. Okay. And that's red because he jumped. Yes. Okay. Jump. I don't know what that means. Or, so it's a, okay, so it's a black one. It's a. Where's my chart? I don't know where my chart is. Would that be a black one? Because I, I did. Or would that be a white one? You ran? Technically, I ran because it's. It's not, black. Okay. All right, cool, cool. I don't have a chart. I don't have a, a hit chart. Yeah. Do you have another one of these? No, that was it. Unless I've got this one here. It might be over there. Oh, crap. I might need my glasses. Yeah, it's plus 